hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel z2h classes again in this video uh, we will discuss few mcqs for barc written examination now first question is if lagrangian of the system is given by l is equals to 1 by 2 m x dot square plus 1 by 2 m y dot square plus m x then which of the following is correct so we are given four statement uh, from which we have to discuss which is correct so first of all i write lagrangian here uh, lagrangian is given as 1 by 2 m x dot square plus 1 by 2 m y dot square plus m x so you can see here uh, in lagrangian here x dot is coming that is velocity in x direction and x is also coming so the lagrangian carrying x dot and x both so x is not cyclic coordinate okay so here we can say lagrangian is carrying lagrangian is carrying both x dot and x so x is not cyclic coordinate x is not cyclic coordinate now you can see uh, x is not cyclic coordinate so corresponding uh, momentum is not conserved so corresponding momentum is not conserved so here you can see x and x dot both contain so x is not cyclic coordinate so corresponding momentum will be px so corresponding momentum px is not conserved px is not conserved so here px is not conserved now you can see your lagrangian contains only y dot but it does not contain y so y is cyclic coordinate and uh, your corresponding momentum will be conserved so you can, we can write lagrangian contains y dot only not y content y dot not y so y is cyclic coordinate y is cyclic coordinate and corresponding momentum will be conserved corresponding corresponding momentum and uh, y has corresponding momentum py is conserved so you got py is conserved px is not conserved and now we uh, note down these two formula for py you have formula del l upon del y dot and px that is del l upon del x dot so by taking derivative of uh, Lagrangian with respect to y dot and x dot you can also check so if you take derivative with respect to x dot you will get del l by del x dot is equals to uh, m x dot plus m del x by del x dot and if you take derivative with respect to y dot you will get only 2 uh, and 2 will be cancelled and m y dot okay so here your py is conserved px is not conserved px is not conserved py is conserved and uh, in option we have energy also in b option we have energy also so your a is correct option now d is not correct option 
Now C is given as A and B both. So we have to check for total energy. And for energy, we can see Lagrangian is time independent. Our Lagrangian is time independent. And for time independent Lagrangian, energy is also conserved. So add in solution also our Lagrangian is time independent or Lagrangian is time independent and for time independent Lagrangian equation it is uh, energy is conserved so your two options are correct two options are correct A and B both so correct option will be C Okay, so just get an idea what you have to do to solve such type of question. So idea is if x and x dot both are contain uh, both are there in Lagrangian or both are present in Lagrangian, then p x will not conserve and y dot is present, so p y is conserved and Lagrangian is time independent, so energy is conserved. Now second MCQ. It is direct theoretical question from superconductivity in which you are asked that tunneling of Cooper pairs at bracket is blank 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 is called Josephson effect. So you know from theory in Josephson effect there is superconductor insulator superconductor. So the correct option will be C. Uh, in Josephson effect there is one superconductor then very thin layer of insulator it may be air or anything of nanometer size of nanometer size there will be insulator and there will be superconductor also so it will be superconductor insulator superconductor third question is from statistical mechanic which state that which one of the following relations between internal energy internal energy and the canonical partition function z is true so please remember this formula or uh, if you have read statistical mechanic theory then you already know this equation that is internal energy is uh, nothing but minus del by del beta ln or log z z is your partition function now your beta is given as i write with different color so you can understand properly your beta is given as 1 upon kt so now you need here del by del beta so take reciprocal of it so you will get 1 by beta is equals to kt at a reciprocal now differentiate both side so you will get del by del beta is equals to del by del beta is equals to or uh, first take derivative here not uh, in not this side now take derivative first take derivative and then take reciprocal so first we take derivative so we will get del beta is equals to minus 1 by kt square minus 1 by kt square okay now it is nothing but del by del t okay now take reciprocal so you will get del t by del beta is equals to minus kt square what we have done we have taken reciprocal now we can write it like this that is del by del beta is equals to minus uh, kt square minus kt square del by del beta is equals to minus kt square as it is in take del t right side so can you write like this 
del by del beta is equals to minus cat square del by del t. So substitute this green color value into blue color. So we will get so we will get u that is internal energy is equals to minus now del by del we can be written as minus kt square del by del t ln z this minus and this minus will be plus and k is nothing but Boltzmann constant so I write is kb t square del by del t and this ln z can I write this log base e z that is log z okay so internal energy can be written as kbt square del by del t log z so your correct option is b okay now next question it is very direct and very easy question that is you have asked the uh, dimension of Lagrangian uh, please take atten uh, give attention here because BARC written examination you uh, you have very limited time so there is there are few questions which are very direct so dimension of Lagrangian so we have Lagrangian can be written as kinetic energy minus potential energy okay here Lagrangian is written as kinetic energy minus potential energy so Lagrangian is nothing but difference of energy Lagrangian is nothing but difference of energy so Lagrangian have dimension of energy and the energy have dimension joule and joule can be written as Newton into meter and Newton can be written as kilogram meter divided by second square and this meter so it will be squared so you can write it m1 l2 t minus 2 so our correct answer will be D. Now fifth question. This question is very interesting. In this question you are asked the Lagrangian of simple pendulum is. So now first of all consider simple pendulum. Suppose this is my rigid surface from which a simple pendulum is hanged and here is my bob okay suppose the length of this uh, string is L and uh, if I give some force to this uh, if I give some force to this pendulum so shit okay give some force to this pendulum then it will be upward go upward and this is my bob so at this point kinetic energy will maximum kinetic energy will be maximum and at this energy potential energy is potential energy is maximum and kinetic energy is zero so we are asked for Lagrangian and Lagrangian is written as kinetic energy minus potential energy so we have we need two things number one kinetic energy and kinetic energy you know is written as 1 by 2 mv square and uh, from circular motion we can write v is equals to r omega but here radius is length of this string so instead of r omega I write here L omega whole square so it will be M L square omega square by 2 so this is my kinetic energy now what I need so I need to find Lagrangian kinetic energy is found now I need potential energy so for potential energy uh, we have equation potential energy can be written as m g h and here you can see this is your h this length is h and in order to find out h we have to do some uh, mathematics so suppose 
this is angle theta so uh, in order to find uh, h i take here cos theta okay so cos theta will be look at here now this uh, full length is l okay this is h so this length can be written as l minus h i hope you understand this length can be written as l minus h so cos theta can be written as cos theta is equals to l minus h divided by this length and this is nothing but your uh, string length so it will be l okay now take l this side so you will get l cos theta is equals to l minus h now take h this side and l cos theta right side so taking h as left side and l cos theta is right side so h can be written as l in bracket 1 minus cos theta now i substitute h value in mgh so my potential energy is written as mg l 1 minus cos theta so i get potential energy also now i put both values of potential energy and kinetic energy into uh, lagrangian equation okay so these two value of green color that is kinetic energy and potential energy i substitute in blue color that is in lagrangian this both value i substitute in lagrangian so i will get lagrangian as lagrangian l is equals to kinetic energy is m l square omega square divided by 2 minus potential energy m g l in bracket 1 minus cos theta so this is my final lagrangian equation so the correct option is a m g m l square omega square divided by 2 minus m g l 1 minus cos theta thank you that is for today thank you for my thank you for watching my video and uh, thank you for uh, supporting my channel